I woke up to this tweet from Boxing Scene that Bill Haney is saying Shakur Stevenson brings nothing to the table because there is talks of Shakur Stevenson being a backup if Ryan Garcia does not make it to the fight against Devin Haney in April. And I find this to be very interesting because as you've seen, I put on Twitter, didn't the Haney's offer the fight to Shakur Stevenson after the Lomachenko fight and Stevenson did turn it down. And there were so many people shocked because after you saw that close competitive Lomachenko fight, people were saying there is no way in hell Devin Haney fights Shakur Stevenson. He will retire before he fights him. And there were reports again of the fight being offered and Shakur Stevenson didn't take it. He said that the split wasn't fair and that kind of stuff. So that is where, in my opinion, if you don't like the Haney's fair enough, but in my opinion, you have to give them credit. Now, before people say that I'm being too nice to the Haney's and I'm giving them too much credit, I did this video talking about Bill Haney's comments on Subriel Martias, how Bill Haney, when asked by Marcos Viegas, tried to push it onto him, twist it, and almost embarrass him in a gotcha moment when Viegas was just asking him a simple question. And I talked about Bill Haney getting defensive when Martias's name was brought up, talking about an interview he did with Mill City Boxing. So I'm objective. I'm giving credit where it's due, and I'm speculating when it's warranted. So in terms of Bill Haney saying Stevenson brings nothing to the table, Stevenson's a world champion. I know he didn't look great in his last fight, but let's not pretend that Bill Haney, let's not pretend that Devin Haney didn't have performances where he didn't look that great when he was in Shakur Stevenson's situation, when he was a young, undefeated champion at lightweight. So I certainly have no issue with Bill Haney again critiquing Shakur Stevenson because again, Stevenson didn't look amazing. There's a lot of good fights there for Devin Haney. Shakur Stevenson is one of them. A fight which really should be easy as hell to make is Subriel Martias, who has a fight coming up in June against Liam Paro. So let's wait and see how things play out. But again, if Ryan Garcia doesn't make it to the fight for whatever reason, and, and by the way, there are people who commented on my short video about Ryan Garcia's meltdown. Let me say this. Ryan Garcia is speaking truths. I I'm not going to say everything he's saying is gospel, obviously not, but he is speaking a lot of truths. The thing is, if you see this world for what it is, if you speak the uncomfortable truths, as Ryan Garcia is doing, it is imperative that you have your head on straight, because this kind of stuff can drive you mad. And Ryan Garcia, I don't know why people refuse to see this, he's not keeping his head on straight, he's not keeping his cool, he's all over the place, he's panicking. He's clearly on stuff. It's not a good sign. And I care about his well-being. Okay? Again, I did this video where I talked about Ryan Garcia understandably not being everybody's favorite fighter because he comes across as an entitled rich pretty boy. He dresses like a Ken doll. He puts makeup on. I get that. But I've got no reason to wish any ill will on the guy. So let me know what you guys think down below about Bill Haney's comments and Again, who else was surprised that they went from offering the fight to Stevenson to saying, well, he doesn't bring anything to the table. Are they just trying to get under his skin? Let me know. Catch you guys later. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more.